G'day everyone, how are we all? Estelle here and I have for you guys an unbagging video. So we're going to get straight into it because why not? Exactly. Keen to open up the package. How is everyone today? Hope everyone's having an awesome day. Whatever you are doing and hoping that the weather is nice in your area or at least you have a nice spot to hide from it either way. But hopefully this time of year um, we sort of have a nice sort of variation of either not too hot, not too cold. So yay. Uh, it is a bit overcast today so the lighting is a bit average. But we will continue anyway because it is time I have to unbox. So I have one, two, three in this parcel package item. So we have one, two, three. They are those smaller size diamond paintings. I can't really remember what I've got in here, but at this point in time, when I am unboxing this video at the start here, I don't know so much, but by the end of it I do, so then you'll see more in the title and the thumbnail. <laughs> this present time I'm not even 100% sure where I uh, got these ones from so we'll just open them up together and check them out and when I see one of them I will know and I do now know so these are some cool ones sent to me for review for free um, from new homey so and with the season coming around the corner I thought this little guy was rather adorable. So there we are. Isn't he precious? I think he's lovely. I think he'll come up kind of cute. A lot of confetti looking stuff though going on. So I have a gorgeous little rabbit here sitting amongst some flowers out there in the daisies and whatnot. And I thought with Easter around the corner this would be a really pretty sort of diamond paint to work on. I might just peel that back and help it relaxes a bit. It has 20 colours, DMCs, legend left and bottom right. And yeah, it's that gridded print, if you know what I mean. It's not superimposed, it's just the other sort, I don't know, the way diamond paintings are printed. So I'll have a bit of a look. I know it's wonky. I'll get it right in a minute. Let's get some focus happening, can we? There we go, boom. All right, so we can have a bit of a look at some of the drill field there. I might even just go a little closer. Why not? Do, 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 do. I'm trying to get the focus, but I'm bumping everything to do so. All right, so drilling field as such. Now it's reasonably good. A little bit faint with some of the white lettering you know it's a little fuzzy if you may you know what I mean like it's light it's not real bright I don't know how to explain it but it's still clear enough if you want to get picky which I like to try and be picky um, this is your legend I'm just gonna move the other two onto the chair because this one's getting gonna get stuck to it or something's gonna happen so 20 colors in total and I'm really liking the A, B, C and 1, 2, 3 symbol approach here. I do enjoy that. It's so simple. I find it easy to decipher when I am working rather than trying to think, oh, am I doing a hashtag or am I doing a one stick thing? I don't know. I don't need all those awkward symbols. I just like simplicity. It makes everything more relaxing. Um, I use my numbers, but you know what I mean. It's really nice and easy way of having your symbols. The seven's looking a little dark with the black print, so that may be an issue. You might need a light pad there. Again, with the greens, the three and the four, you may have also a problem. But on the hmm, on the actual canvas, they look quite good. So there you go. This is a little dark, but they are good on the canvas, so they are looking okay. Uh, 310, of course, and other DMC numbers there for you guys. 
cute little rabbit. He's a cute little rabbit. He's a 30 by 40 canvas, not image. There is some decent glue coverage there. So it looks like it's going to work out pretty good. Let's go back out a bit, shall we? There we are. 30 by 40. There is the thumbnail there of the image. If I can make that focus for you guys, that would be even better. There we go. So that is our little rabbit. And you can see the beautiful flowers and that he's sitting around. So I'm hoping it's going to come up really nice. It's a cute image. Beautiful for Easter. Have to do that one up and put that on the window. Yeah, that would be cool if I can get it done. Smash it out. Oh my goodness, what is the focus doing today? Yeah. I'm just going with it today. I really am. Oakley doakley. I have in the rest of it a pretty basic kit. Nothing exciting there. Yeet. Um, I have some drills and they are round with this diamond painting. I'm just going to have a quick browse at them. We won't go into too much. Mind all the crinkling and the crunchling. If you're not really interested in looking at the drills, I don't mind if you skip forward to the next image. That's really up to you. Some people like to look at the drills, so I like to include that into the video. Do, 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 do. And I like to check to make sure they're right too. Alrighty, so I don't even know if I'm right at the right end here. Where am I? What does that even say? Anything? Squish ones there. Uh, 20. Of course. Wrong end. I've got to start with black. That's what we had at the start, didn't we? Uh, uh, where am I? Here I am. Alright, so black it is. Number one of the diamond painting. And that's all you get on your packaging. Your serial number slash whatever for your item. That's it. No DMCs. But they're on the canvas, so you're all good. So we have a bunch of greens, some blues, they look pretty good actually don't they? Look at that. Hmm. They look really nice looking drills actually, nice and clean. Hopefully reasonable shine there going on. More greens. This is pretty green though, I do like that. Oh, lighting, be good. So you can sort of really see the quality of the drills and where they are at. And they look reasonably good, don't they? Yeah, I think they will be. That's good. Wow, that's pretty. Sometimes I get some of them showstopper colours, and that's one of them. Um, lots of dark colours and purples, some greys. Nice blue, though. Mmm, pretty. Uh, yep, some more creamy colour whites. Wow, that's really purple. That's pretty. Um... And some more sort of tones and of course our mustardy yellow that we saw at the start there. So there we go. That is Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Hoppity Hop Tail, whatever you like to call him. Peter Cottontail over there doing his thing. And I'm just going to chuck that one on the floor and I'll deal with packing that one up in a moment. So next, next we have this package. We'll go up a little bit, get him all in the line of the focus and the... I wish my stand wouldn't creak so much, but it does. So I do apologise for the creaky noises that come through. I hope it's not disturbing. you too much. Holy moly. Okay. I'm not going to try and struggle with that thing. I'm just going to snip it a little bit open. Because I don't want to cut the canvas. There. And now I'm sticking. Do it. Alrighty. Badoom. That can go over on the floor as well. What have I got here? What have I got here? Oh! Now I get it. <laughs> I was looking at it like this thinking, what have I got? Okay. Pit. Bit bendy, bit folded, lots of folds in here. It's going to need some flattening, but it'll be fine as anything. I was going to say good as gold, but I sort of said fine at the same time. 
Uh, I have looked at this image a few times and wondered about it, so it was, well, you know, maybe it's a time just to stop the wondering about it and just actually get it, although I am dreading the 310 situation, which I know it will have, or some sort of dark colouring because of all this background. But I still kind of wanted to check it out, so I had the opportunity to do so at the moment. Thanks to these guys, so um, I thought, why not? I'm, golly, I'm struggling. Um, I thought, well, then this might be in other people's wish list, so to speak, and all that, and you know, just curious about the image. So that's exactly what this is all about me getting things, testing them out, having a look, showing you guys as much as I can to see what your thoughts and of the whole thing is. Now the image is coming across really nicely on the camera and it also seems to be reasonably good here on the canvas for its size. Um, product name is called Jesus, it's under Easter Man on the website but you know whatever. That has a that is the thumbnail in the corner there. So we'll have a bit of a gander. It's quite an interesting image how it's sort of all the lighting and all that sort of just got me. So I thought it would be really cool to see what comes up as a diamond painting. Really gritty though. This has got that grid print. Let's see how we go. Um, there is a lot of space on, whoopsie, there goes the focus. Uh, there's a lot of space here on the sides, so the canvas would be pushing 30 by 40. Oh, look, there's a ruler. The image would definitely be under that. Um, so I'm just going to quickly measure the image, and it's about 23. Where am I? I'm trying to look at the camera, so 23 centimeters that way, uh, 32, say, for the length. So it is smaller than 30 by 40, so that is something to bear in mind with this image. It has only 11 colors, and when I say that colors, I more mean shades because it is literally a lot of grays and blacks, so I really won't look at all the drills like I have the other one. There's no point, I think really getting them all out. We'll have a quick closer look at this canvas though. Oops, excuse fingers. Drill field and that's looking pretty darn good though, isn't it? Like, wow, there's some serious color blocking going on. Doesn't like it when I come up close, does it? Anyway, um, we, that's his face there. The, and I think you would probably do this fairly fast if you had a multi-placer, couldn't you? Like you could really smash this out. So it's a very simple code number system thing for your charting. Maybe I can do it this way. It doesn't seem to matter what I do at the minute, it's not really wanting to help on this particular piece for some reason. Yeah. So yeah, it's not bad. Venturing to see how it comes out. thumbnail up there and another thumbnail that's bigger over here. So this one actually has two thumbnails. Stick drill site. Uh -huh. So thumbnail and stick drill site. Here we go. There you have it. That's that one. Um, let's just go this way. Focus it back up again. My goodness, today it just doesn't want to. Focus, focus, focus. Um, you have a just a basic kit, and you have round drills with this particular diamond painting, and there is like no DMCs at all. 
not on the package not on the canvas and not on the bead package either just your product codes and your numbers to your drills which end of the day um, that's really what you need to be able to finish your project but if you're wanting DMC's to these greys colors and that's all they like I, I'm not going to worry about taking those out of there you can sort of see they're just grey colors etc but um, yeah so that's what you get that has round reels for that one S much a fairly smaller um, print area as well but it's interesting so I wanted to get that one to check it out and that I shall do okay number three and the last of this particular package and the last for the video Let's stick that up there. That didn't do anything much, did it? So all of them coming in little bubble wrap, usual sort of little sleeves. What the heck have I got here? It's so small. Yeet that too. Oh yes, I <laughs> This is in its own little plastic cover by the looks of it. I was about to try and unroll it and then I realised it was in the plastic cover. So it's got a little clear um, plastic dust, dust cover over the top of this one and it's sticking to me. Okay, I'll just take out the drills. Oh, they look nice. Ah, there it is. I knew I have to have a kit in there somewhere. So another really basic, um, very basic, basic kit for that as well. I'm going to eat that one. This is one of the small canvases. I think one of the smallest canvases I probably own. One of the smallest. But I thought they were adorable. The lighting is so dark in here. It's driving me crazy. Every light on I own. Seriously. Why is it it's always going to be overcast on days I can record? I really don't understand. Anyway. That's the weather. You can't do much with it sometimes, can you? So I will do my best to show you these products. Now this is a small canvas. It is 37 by 25 centimetres. Yeah, that's a funny little size, isn't it? But that's what it says it is. Um, I'm just going to have a quick look with this ruler. And I'm just shy of, I'll just sort of say, just, just on 20 centimetres that way. Thirty and say, so 32 the other. So you're losing... 25 centimeters so 37 by 25 is the canvas not the image so take off five for image on each of those measurements but I thought they were hilarious these are these little colored chooks sitting on their bench and knitting their little bits and pieces I thought it was adorable I thought it was really cute and I thought they're you know getting ready for Easter to cover all their eggs I don't know it just seemed like the right sort of thing to get for this time of year and it's kind of cute and it's got 20 colors so that's pretty cool again this is going to it's just a small little whip but I think it'll look really cute I thought it'd be nice in the kitchen something you can have around like in the kitchen or somewhere um, all year round even though I think it'll be great for Easter as well that was my thinking I got strange thinkings Right, so you can sort of see this little thumbnail of mine. Whoopsie doodle. There we go. So that is your thumbnail. Best focus is going to do, I think. And um, it's got a good cover. What a nice sparkly canvas. Look at that. You can see the glitter in it. That's cool. Uh, and nicely printed by the looks of it too. Well, that's pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Um, I have 
20 colors, DMC codes, nice simple number and letter system for my symbols. So that's pretty awesome as well. So for this little color cover, what do you call it? For this little canvas, English today, Dale. I have some really um, a good range of colors coming through by the looks of it. And the print area is looking really good so far. Not finding anything too concerning. To the concerning, yeah. So this is more by like, I think one of them superimposed type images sort of thing rather than that blocky square. They've got sort of the circles of the colors. I don't know how you explain it. Like they use the circle colors rather than the squares with the round drill here. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that is the Chucky image. I think they are adorable. It's a funny size. And I think it's going to look great in the kitchen. It's only small. It's a fun looking size whip. Honestly, I'm keen to have a go at it. And you know what? I just might. I might try and whip it up for Easter. It'd be kind of cute. I don't know. I like it. That's all I know. I think it's pretty cool. And look at that, guys. This is how your drills come for that particular diamond painting. That is awesome. You are ready to go. All Ziploc bags. The works. I like it. Even though I get up, I really do like seeing them like this. It makes even just kitting up so much simpler. And it's less mess etc because I'm not cutting up all those little plastic bags then chucking them in oh, I'll have to put them in my soft plastic recycle because they go in there you know it's oh I shouldn't probably do this honestly but I'm doing it anyway apparently taking them out of the bag um oh cool popped out hope nothing's open uh you know what I mean I can reuse these zip bags to put all my drills back in so I know where they are or if I want to keep them separated they got, what have they got on there? Goodness me, this writing is so small, I can't see. I have to. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. I think that's DMC. Yeah, looks like we have one, two, three DMC. So I've got, what have I picked out of here? Three. Yep, so number three on your legend is 327 and I have drills 327 so DMC's on the baggies QR codes everything's on here oh my goodness drills are looking really good I'm so pleased I picked this kit out honestly it's so cool okay look at those drills they're pretty darn good aren't they all right yeah so happy 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 with all those um, I don't really like they're all in order I think too one hang on, one three where's two go what happened to two people there it is so we'll just have a quick little look if I can oh my stars it's focused today just stay somewhere one two three that's four look at that beautiful red five five I said five didn't I yep that's six wow there's a lot of those six seven eight nine nine thirteen Wait another minute. <laughs> Maybe we're not in order. Ten. There's eleven. Well, that's pretty too. Let's move this across. Twelve. There's thirteen. I knew I had it. Fourteen's that pretty pink colour. 15, 16 is a nice teal and these drills look really really good I'll just 
bunch them over this way a little bit. Uh, what was I saying? Saying, saying, 16, 16, 16. 16. 17 is that nice clear. 17, 18, corally sort of colours. 19, more of that. And 20 is a brown. So, wow, look at those beautiful colours. I hope you can sort of see them. I hope that's okay how I've done that. <laughs> uh, they look really, really nice. I love how this kit is presented. It just feels good. I feel like I could just go and work on it straight away. So, yeah, that I really, really liked. That is a little chooky one. Um, so I will add uh, everything in the description box down below, uh, links to these diamond paintings and all that information there and the website. So go check it out. This one is awesome. I'm really liking it so far. And I really want to just go and do it right now. Basically, that's how I feel about it. It's really just a good feeling kit. I like the other ones, but this one's like, yep, let's go. We can do this. Absolutely cute, fun size. Um, awesome if you just want to try it out dime painting and get something like this size would be you know it's perfect for that sort of thing it is a full drill all the ones I've shown you today are full drill so there we go so I have some really interesting um, really nice diamond paintings I'm really kind of pleased I've picked out the ones they um, basically offered something and this is my Easter special type unboxing for you guys I thought, you know what, we need an Easter special and this is it. So there we go. So I have the beautiful bunny rabbit. I have our Jesus or Easter man or whatever it is called on the website. And of course, our chooks. Knitting up some little covers for the eggs. I don't know. Maybe they are. But I am really um, happy with those ones. There's, you know... A good variety on the store. There's quite a few other ones in the Easter sort of theme that I thought would be great to get. So check it out because there is quite a few there. Hopefully you can get them in time. This was rather quickly shipped out. I can't give you exact dates at this point, but I know it didn't. I was a bit more surprised that I just received this only yesterday. So I'm doing the unboxing now and hopefully I can put this video up basically. Um, yeah, pretty much the same day I'm going to try for or the next morning. Edit it up tonight. Because I'm recording late, but I'm gonna that's just basically I'm gonna smash it out. So yeah, you're gonna get all the fun parts for this video, didn't you? I didn't other than the focus problems, it was great. I didn't have too much trouble. Um, diamond paintings I'm really enjoying at the moment from this company. I've got a couple going and testing them out for you guys, and I'm doing some reviews on those. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so far. I've had some really great products so I'm happy and I'm really loving this guy I just love how that's been set up with all those diamonds looks so good I'm so happy with that anyway I'm um, gonna leave it there guys uh, thank you to all my viewers and subscribers I do appreciate it so so much when you come by and watch my videos and you know especially you know when I see a new sub for the day and I say oh you've got a new subscriber it makes my day it really does i want to just acknowledge that that when i see someone is subscribed to the channel it makes me feel so good it makes me feel like i'm doing a good job and <laughs> and putting out some good content so i please um thank you thank you so 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 much you really don't um know how much that means to me so um getting that out there <laughs> I hope you're enjoying my videos and, you know, as I said, if you'd like to hit the like button and subscribe and notification bells, that would be awesome. Um, whack a comment down below if you just want to say hi. That's great. Um, I'll give you a little heart to return my hi. And, yeah, or just questions, anything like that. Or if you just want to share what you're working on, I don't mind. Pop it in the comment section you know feel free this is somewhere we want to be happy and share our diamond painting experiences so yep yeah, let's do that and yeah thank you so so much and i'll see you next time guys be your life beautiful diamond art this is adele signing out have a wonderful day and let's go do some diamond painting because i know i'm going to that's for sure okay guys thanks so so much bye now mm -hmm.